Well, hello Riven mains and Yasuo mains alike. I am the Nightwing Way of Life Esports coming at you guys with another League of Legends video. It has come to that time where the video that nobody wanted to get the notification for was the thank you sneaky video. I think that Looking at Sneaky's career, you know, I'm really proud of him for everything that he's achieved. LCS titles, he's the only NA AD carry at the moment to have, you know, made top four at Worlds and also 3 0 a Korean team. So he's had a lot of success and a lot of downs too, as you get with a long tenured career, you know, watching him from 2014 all the way till now you know i really am proud of him and i will support him and his next adventure obviously i'm sticking with cloud nine they're my they're the league of legends team i've been associated with and been a fan of for so long i'm not leaving i don't do that i've invested my time into this org i want to be with this org you know same thing with g2 as well so you know players always come and go in every single sport and <clears throat> Whether or not you think it's the right thing or wrong thing doesn't matter. Sports, this happens all the time. Legacy players leave teams and join other teams, you know? And he's been a great staple NA80 carry. Hopefully, he can find a team or he will become a streamer. A lot of the spring teams might not really work out as most people would predict. It happens every spring split anyway. So maybe if a team is going through some hard times, maybe he can go on their team. And obviously, he's going to bring a massive fan base. So that will obviously give that team a lot of fans in general. So uh, thank you, Sneaky. Uh, for me personally, I've been watching you for a very long time. And uh, next time you do a cosplay, uh, make sure you do it butt naked. I would personally really like that. But here's the thank you, Sneaky C9 LOL announcement video. So the original five was me. Elimination, media is high in balls. Uh, I guess we had Alex Penn back then. So, this is the first installment of the Cloud9 video vlog. Here is balls, Alex Penn, Lemon, Jack, <laughs> Sneaky's right there. I think I got me. Medios? We're gonna get all the stuff because Jack is paying. So, haha. <laughs> <laughs> I joined Cloud9 back in. 2013, it was after we, um, pretty much all of us back then, failed the qualifiers into the first LCS. <laughs> we all had to kind of, you know, retry and go again. So yeah, we had to really step up and figure out how we really feel like we're supposed to play the game. But we didn't really know how well it was going to work at first. Nexus with their eyes on the Nexus, their eyes on the summer split, completely undefeated in the series. Four kills make that almost everyone going down. Cloud9 gonna end the series 3-0. They're gonna take down the Nexus, and they're the North American champions. I think the roster lasted two and a half years, but we're all so in sync and so on the same page to listen to each other. And that, I think that was the biggest part of our team back then. We were able to do really good things. Sneaky is very healthy. One shot can kill a few. Oh, oh no. Oh my god. Oh, no. One shot can kill a few. That's what he needed. And here it comes. Sneaky's gonna turn it around. And he does. A quad for kill from Sneaky. So I've been to Worlds every year since I joined. 2013 to 2019. It kind of started cycling. I did Korea twice. One in 2014, one in 2018. I did NA in 2013 and... 2016, did China in 2017, 2015 was Europe, 2019 was Europe. And now the North American AD carry with the highest KDA for the summer split, Sneaky! I'd say there's a lot of moments that are unforgettable. Um, I mean, you know, I, I, kind of forgetting right now, TBH. <laughs> trying to get back in and clean it up, but the exhaust is down. Sneaky gets himself a triple kill as it all settles. Empyrean, the only one left, there's the quadra, and Sneaky, can he get another penta? He does! And Sneaky picks up a penta kill. Goes through the assassination, so much pressure put on Cloud9, they lose to GA. Oh my oh, god! He stole, he stole the Elder Dragon! Sneaky! Do they have the damage? Vito's repels into the air, impact left alone. A kill coming through for Sneaky, make that two, he's keeping his team alive! A quadra sneaky. kill for Sneaky! The penta kill to save the game! Huge lead for Cloud9! And that... 
That is something that is not that easy to pull off. Like that, that definitely... Oh, wow! Deadly Sneaky! Flourish! Sneaky Bali! What the... No! <laughs> I mean, I think, obviously, to me, like, the big moments are always going to be winning. I think that's everyone, too. Like, like the big wins, you know, 2013, 2014. This has been a lot to us. Um, and then getting really far in Worlds every year was also really something close to our hearts, I guess. Um, we always somehow ended up as the last hope of an A. And the knockups are there. Is this the fight? It's two for zero, and the Guardian Angels are popped. This could well be it. Look at them clean up the map, and the last vestige of Korea has been destroyed. Cloud9 will make it to the semifinals. A 3-0 sweep. The first time in seven years. Cloud9 in the top four at Worlds. It was the first year where Korea was not winning and we were the team to fully eliminate them. And then we really felt like there was a huge chance for us to actually win that year. I mean, obviously, a lot of the teams felt that way too. I mean, that's a lot to me. Obviously, it's just been the team that I've always wanted to compete with. I've never really had thoughts of changing teams. There's never been a moment where I'm doubting my teammates or faltering. Like, I know my players are good. They can improve. There's just other stuff that we can fix as a whole. So that's kind of like always been my philosophy. And that's something I've carried with me with C9. And I think that's what makes everyone enjoy the team. <laughs> Maybe a lot more than other teams people have been on. Yeah, I mean, it's meant a lot. Had a lot of success. What's next? I'll be streaming as an independent. Pretty much... Not under the C9 flag, but you know, still love C9, my team. I'll be able to explore opportunities on my own. I will be moving into an advisor role for C9. Um, and pretty much is going to be that, you know, I can give some advice, <laughs> technically, you know, advisor, but uh, I'll pretty much just be helping them out with uh, events throughout the year. And you guys will be able to see me there occasionally. I don't know exactly what yet. Nothing's set in stone, but yeah, we'll be we will to help them out. See you guys there. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you guys Sneaky. For everything for <laughs> supporting me here, Cloud Nine, all these years. Uh, you guys have been really kind to me. I appreciate it a lot. Check out the Dragon Master. That's C Eleven. See if you can eat a crawfish. <laughs> we are watching. <laughs> Oh, what a monster. That is gross. And then over here, we have Sneaky attempted to kill one. <laughs> He's using a fork, boys. I don't think that's what you're supposed to do. Maybe for the crab, and then I'm gonna eat. This is really sad. Dang it. So, over here, we have mussels. A lot of them. We have two pounds of shrimp, one pound of mussel. We got some yeah. lemon pepper wings as well. well Both of them are gone now though. We have a pound of crawfish over here. And then we are waiting for our crab. And there's your depression. <laughs> well that <laughs> Well that was awkwardly well timed. Holy crap! Oh my goodness, there's so many memories with Sneaky as being a Cloud9 fan, and, you know, at some point in, in life, people kind of must understand that, you know, people move on, and that's just how this kind of stuff works. You move on, you know, players don't always stay the same. Orgs change, their mentality changes, players change, players' mentality changes, you know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> it's something that a lot of people need to understand. You know what I mean? Like, every single time you try to do the exact same thing over and over again and not see any results, an org is going to think, hey, we, we might have to change some stuff up. And, you know, if you ha sometimes that includes making harsh decisions. And, you know what I mean? It's just something that 
we're going to look at in like five years from now when Cloud9 has won a split again and go, hey, was that the right decision? You know, in hindsight right now, it might not feel right to a lot of people. But in, let's say, five years from now, let's we're looking at 2025 Spring Split where Cloud9 has potentially won like three more titles, give or take, right? Was this the correct move? Even though right now it hurts really bad. You know, I, I've learned throughout my life that certain things that hurt really bad, sometimes you get over them. And, you know, it doesn't hurt any less. You know what I'm saying? But you do learn to live with it. And that's the hard part that a lot of people don't really understand is that right now it feels like the world is crushing you and you're and you want to just punch the wall. But, but look at the bright side. You know, there's always change, and whether or not, like I said before, you know, is this good change or bad change, it doesn't matter, because at the end of the day, there needed to be changes, you know, Cloud9 hasn't won in a very long time, so, you know, at the end of the day, change is needed, whether or not you choose to agree with it or not, it's gonna happen, so I'll see you guys later, like, comment, subscribe, most of all, enjoy, I'm the Nightwing, and Way of Life Esports is signing out, oh, goodbye. Uh, oh, yeah. Thank you, Sneaky, for all your dedication years at Cloud9. GG, Sneaky. GG. Hi, you guys. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more stuff. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>